Thank you for tuning in to the Ontario Singles Corporal Championship of 2024. Today we have more quarterfinal action. In this matchup we have Josh Carfalo against the infamous John Conrad. Both competitors had a very successful afternoon in the second round robin and are now facing off the opportunity to move to the semi-final round. This is a critical tournament as it is the final event of the National Crokinole Association season. Conrad first to shoot, drains an open 20. Carpiello will have hammer in this round. Conrad, the first miss going a bit long. Carpiello peels out of the center, forcing Conrad to peel completely off the board to get play back to the middle. Carpiello now to go long. Conrad ops to hit and roll ever so slightly, not quite close enough to the hole for Carfielo to get a 20. Conrad now will eventually need to push play closer to the center in hopes of getting a 20 for himself. Three discs remaining for each player. Rolls to the far side of the post from himself. Carfielo bringing it back in just enough that Conrad could work a little bit. Lots of actions off the pegs. Back to his side of the board. Conrad with his final shot needs a follow through or a hide. Carfalo just needs to hit this and stay on the board to win the round. Staying in the five, he does it. He will take this first round. Carfalo going up two to zero in this race to nine. Carfalo now to shoot first, running the open 20. For those of you that have seen Josh compete before, you will know he is an absolute 20s machine. It is very rare that you will see him miss. Players now down to six shots. Conrad with two on the board. Not a bad position with him having hammer. However, closer to the end of the round, he will need to get one of those discs up into a higher point region. If it be the one from the 10 to the 15, or the one in the 5 to the 10 to at least tie the round. Conrad, unable to get the off, and Carfiello now with an opportunity for a double, which he gets. Carfiello now up 120, each opponent with one disc on the board. Carfiello is feeling pretty comfortable in this position, but there may be an angling opportunity for Conrad, which he just misses as it lips out of the 20. Carfiello now with his own Opera 20. Opera 20, that's a new term. I like it. <laughs> he gets it, Conrad gets a double, inconsequential, as Carfiello will be taking this second round, bringing the score to 4-0. Conrad now to open the third round in this race to nine. Draining that open 20, now finding his range. Carfiello. Lipping out, going a little bit long. Conrad content to keep play away from the center. Carfiello tries to catch a peg, unsuccessful. Looks like an angle in opportunity, which Conrad nails. Josh trying to peel, but misses Conrad's disc. Conrad taking that infamous shot. You see Josh smiles. He knows it all too well. Hoping not to line Carfiello up for either a 20 or the off. Very great placement from Conrad. Carfiel trying to bring play back closer to the middle. Conrad finally going in for the kill and just misses it. Carfiel also missing that shot. Players going back and forth. There's a nice hanger. And Carfiel can convert this. He's not mathematically out of this yet, but in a very tough spot. Conrad! very wisely ditches his shot, giving Carfiello zero chance of winning this round. Conrad will take this third round. Carfiello just taking a practice 20, knowing that he has lost a round. Score now 4-2 to two for Carfiello. Conrad taking those last two points. We are now into the fourth round of this race to nine. Carfiello draining that first 20. Conrad following suit. Looks like now both these players are dialed in. Never mind. Carfiello on the second 20 attempt misses. And Conrad placing his disc between the pegs. 
Conrad does have hammer, so he is more than happy to keep play on the outside of the pegs, especially if it's on his side. Carfiello trying to catch some pegs, not quite in the direction he wants as Conrad will. Oh, that is what we would call unfortunate. Trying to keep play on the outside, unfortunately, loses his own, drains a 20, and leaves an open board for Carfiello. Now up with a 220 advantage. Conrad does have hammer, but now he needs a mistake out of Carfiello to bring play back. Conrad, keeping play on the outside, trying to get in here. Shots inconsequential now. Josh will take the fourth round, bringing the score to six points to two for Carfiello. Conrad to open this fifth round, just coming short of that 20. Little bit of a awkward hanger for Carfiello. Let's see if he can convert, and he does. Very nice shot. Conrad short again, and Carfiello sure to get another 20. Now up, 220 advantage with the hammer. Bit of a follow through there. Carfiello content now with play being on the outside. Conrad peeling to bring play back to the center. Carfiello drains at 20. Conrad now in the zone. He will need a mistake out of Carfiello at some point if he wants his round back. Now shots inconsequential. Carfiello will be taking this round, bringing the score to eight to two. See these shots here. We see Carfiello dealing with those hanger 20s very nicely, leaving no opportunity wasted. Carfiello opening up this round. Score now eight to Carfiello just needs either a win or a tie on one of these rounds to move on to the semi-finals. Conrad with hammer and two discs on the board in a comfortable position. Carfiello going for that angle and it doesn't quite get it, but he leaves an awkward situation for Conrad. Looks like he'll either be pushing through his own or going up the side to hit the black disc directly. He does make contact, but he doesn't get the off. Now with three of his own on the board, one of Josh's between the pegs. Carfiello content with an off. Looks like he was trying to catch a peg, maybe for a 20, but just rolls back to his side. Conrad in control of the board, but if Carfiello can get one of those follow throughs, he will have a chance. He is up a 20 right now. So Conrad does have his work cut out for him. Conrad looks like he was going for a touch, didn't quite convert. Lots of black discs on the board now. Conrad has a lot of cleanup and oh, catches a peg and I believe that is it. That is the game. Carfiello will be moving on to the semi-final round. Congratulations to both these players making it to the quarterfinals. And we will see Carfiello in the semifinal matches. Thank you again for tuning in and stay tuned as more quarterfinal action is sure to come your way. As always, make it a great day.